Good afternoon, uh, this is Greg Rizongi of the Haitian Cuban American Network channel and the artistic chef, because there are confessions of an artistic chef. Um, this is one of my first videos where I'm going to be doing a pairing of, of a cigar. Hopefully I'm going to try to do this every week. And let's just see what happens. Um, the first cigar I'm going to be doing a pairing of is the Podomo, the Podomo Habano Salvo. Let me give a little story before I bring out the drink of the cigar. Now, when I first did this, did this, when I first got into cigars, actually, um, when I first met, my first made official with my girlfriend's dad, the first thing he did was get me a, a, a Podomo Habano cigar. I call correctly, it was Podomo Habano, Connecticut, which is one of the boxes I'm trying to get for my birthday. But this one is a Podomo Habano Sunro. This is one of my favorite cigars. I pair it with everything. So now, get the wrap off. Get this off. It, it comes with this on it. Comes in like this. We need smoke or no. Cigar like this to have a wrapper on the bottom, you should always take it off. Alright. For some nice um, tasting, I'm going to do a V cut. Just, I did the V-cut to get my lighter. And what you want to do is not bury it into the fire, but just go on top of it so it kind of closes it a little bit. Now, yeah, if I'm going to do a cigar tasting, a review, one thing I might have is this Tim Swanson, um, the other you turn off, cigars. Use that. Alright. And he already has a score sheet for me, so I'll just do that to the scores. As well, as the liquor of choice. This is a brand I like, I love the most. This is the most expensive brand my girl's dad got for me for Christmas. I asked me half a bottle, but it's worth it because it's actually, it's actually let me close that up real quick. It's a conversion sugar cane aged at high altitude. Finish in cognac cask. Alright. So, take this. Need so much to get drunk, just enough so that I can actually taste it. Okay. Let's get back 
to the testing. Now, when I'm doing cigar tastings, I'll be opening up to all cigars, Nicaraguan, Dominican, Honduran, or Cameroon, which is one of my favorite apps. Right? My personal favorite for me is the Nicaraguan cigars. My, if I ever open a cigar shop, I want Nicaraguan workers working there just, just to represent the hard work and labor of the people's country that actually made the cigars. I'm also rocking the Perdomo Army hat. And if you can see, Perdomo Army shirt. Now, there's only one critique I'll give about this cigar. I don't like getting the cigar out of the travel pack. I like it getting it straight out of the box at the store. Because I feel that when I buy it out the box, I can feel the intensity from the from the, the end of the cigar to the other end, right? Now, when I smoke it out the travel bag, the first half is mild, then the second half is medium. So I can go kick and then out of, out of, out of, the, out of the, the bag, travel bag, when out of the box. You just you feel it the all all the way. It's a good corner test. I'm um, showing the box of it. Run, run the cactus. It's one of my favorite, favorite rums, actually. Let's see what you're doing, Karen. And I gotta give a lot of kind of respect for. Nick Podomo and Nicholas Podomo for making these cigars. I mean, I smoke a lot of the selection. The Habano selection is my, my go to. And if I need to smoke Podomo and I don't really, well, I can find a. Uh, can't find a good one, I will go for the 10th anniversary. But for me personally, I personally go for. Habano, Habano, Pedomo Habano Soba. Now, I just started smoking this cigar. Now, what I could tell you, I'm only at an inch, a half of an inch. I've always tasted the. Hey, Daniel, what's up, buddy? I've always tasted the tendency of the cigar. That's why I like it. I don't like it when I have to really wait for the. The, the heat to come up. Yeah, amen, brother. This is this is one. This is my favorite. This is one I'm trying to get for my birthday for the whole box set. Now for kick, cigar with a kick to it, AJ Fernandez has a whole line called New World, so I'm going to start doing a review on those next week. Next week Sunday, I'll probably do my favorite one. Uh, and I love all their cigar packs, but I'm going to do an honest review 
on the New World, the Newark, Connecticut, and the Newark, Cameroon. Daniel, do you have the New World, uh, let me see if you have it. There's a New World that I want to do a review on. I might not say why I don't have it in my box, but there's a new one I want to try. Let's see if he has it. Daniel, let me know if you have New World Dorado. You know, this is such a great cigar. I mean, great kick. Personally, well, I, as I could do, I, I'm, I'm going to talk to Daniel about it this week. If you do the Perdomo Habano series this month, then the New World next month. Yeah, that's what I do. I do the Viva Bottles this month, then the New World next month. Now, this cigar is really great for pairing with uh, rum whiskeys. Now, let's talk about the grading system. All right, for the wrap, it's five points. So they aced it for me on the wrap. The band, which is when I say the band, they're referring to the this part. Which which really goes well with the wrap. A hot pour out for firmness. Three. And oil, I'm also going to do that one at three. There's two okay. When it comes to favorite companies of cigars, I have three companies that I love. Okay, Perdomo. My one could be smoke a masculine cigar, very masculine cigar. 
from Canon Cork, I probably came from Cadon Flesh, from Connecticut. I want to be bougie, I come up with Domo, Connecticut, Cadomo, Hobano, Connecticut, for coffee. Now, for whiskeys, a rum, I put a sun glow, Cadomo, alright, or a double age, 12 year vintage, Cadomo, sun glow. What about two go to's? I see that those two have really have to kick in them. Now, Michelle's dad and I had a discussion about this actually. I'm talking an epic hero. I should put a church hill out, but I'm talking epic for now. Now, for me, if I'm just sitting at a patio, smoking a cigar, just talking, talking shop, talking about life, and I might have a second one if I need need one. Now I'm in an office talking business. Short show, but it'll last longer. Alright. Oh, this? This is really not necessary to do when you smoke a cigar. You want to just ash it out. But I want to see how long it will go before it falls off. So. See, so you won't have to rush with the cigar. You could just take your time. Take it easy. Have you have a long day at work? And then you smoke one. You don't have to be rushing. Rushing it at all. Me, when I smoke a cigar, on the weekdays, it's after work. The days I'm not working, I might have a Fresco, Connecticut, or AP Fernandez, Connecticut, with my uh, cigar. Alright. I would never have in my coffee with the Domo Habano. I'd be overpowering the coffee. So you also have like a little you know, spice rum, like rock rods of copper or Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan, if I want to be too bougie, just want to have a run at home. I am trying to be bougie on a special occasion. Why is that Kappa? Alright, I'm at the one half mark. I'm at the one half mark. I still feel the tendency to the spiciness of the cigar. I do want to look it up, the strength of it. It feels stronger than usual. And this is the first time I smoked a Perdomo Habano with, with a deep cut. I do plan on getting like a high end deep cutter at the end of this month. But this is just a low end deep cut. Does the job well too. Alright. So as I smoke this, I'll tell you about the history of the cigar. When I go on Pulse.com. Pulse.com has a great collection of cigars. And they also tell you about the tell you the tendency of the cigar. Which I'm gonna do for you guys right now. Okay, cigar stats. Alright. It's a medium cigar. Not too strong. They have it in Turchu, Gordo, Busto, and Toro. Country of origin, Nicaragua. Wrap is Nicaragua.
I'm not a blender, I'm still a knob at cigars, but I think it's my opinion. And hey, if you have a comment or suggestion of what my next cigar to taste, please let me know. Down and I'll do a review. It's a medium cigar. Now, the Connecticut, which I'm telling you right now, I'm pretty sure it's a lighter one. Mild to medium, Connecticut. Now, the Habano. The Habano is a medium to full. Believe it or not, the Bodomo Habano Maduro, I never got high off it, believe it or not. It's a nice cigar. Now, there's one cigar I do want to try for review. It's the Bodomo Lot 23 Maduro. And that one, I got real mad a few months ago. That's only me, and I still got high off that one. So. You can't get high off a cigar, believe it or not. I was told this about two weeks ago. You can't get high off a cigar. When I first got into cigars last year, Michelle would vouch for me. I smoked a Maduro by, by accident and got high off a kite about four hours. True story. Now, I'm going to show you guys something. I want to bring this up. Normally, I use this. Oh, I finally came up. But now it's down, down to here. I, I know I use this cutter. It's a straight flat cut. This is actually a Padoma brand. And I have to have the Madomo lighter. Alright. But for today's video, because the last few cigars I smoked. Yeah, so this is a Madomo lighter. Alright. But my neighbor downstairs gave me one of his cutters. And I'm really starting to like V cuts. I can really taste the Tennessee out of cigar out of the V cut. But I do it twice. I do it upward. Oh, shoot. My hand on the corner. That, that's not safe. That's always how I don't like that cut. So I do it upward, then I do it sideways. And I can really taste the texture of the cigar. Now at the end of the video, probably at the 30 minute mark, when I'm done talking, all this jazz, I'm going to read this cigar. Now, if you're just getting into cigars, don't smoke a cell phone right away. Work, start with a Connecticut, then work way up to, to a cell phone. And my girl. I, I just got into cigars May of last year, and I'm just starting to start my girl. Believe it or not. I mean, okay, to be honest, I am a big fan of Perdomo cigars. When it comes to my Duro cigars, I typically go for AJ Canadian's New World. I have no problem smoking. I have no problem smoking 
like thorough from the gumbo, but I like the taste of it because I don't cook myself. I'm only really into the taste of the cigar. Like, what's it taste like? What, where, what I want? And in the review, how they describe it. Okay, so, so like blah blah blah, back to watering, balance of sweet spices, sweet and spicy taste. Notes of smoked almonds, oak, cedar, and cayenne. I really taste the cayenne in this actually. Okay. Those are nuts allergies. I, I'm going to ask to put them back to me tomorrow, but. I don't believe there's any peanuts or anything like that in don't say cigars. Almond, yes. Peanuts, no. So if you have a nut allergy, don't feel don't feel afraid to smoke a don't cigar. I'm not just doing predomo cigars like they use. Keep that in mind. I will be going AJ Fernandez, uh, Oliva, Oliva, Oliva Cigars, or any other cigar that I find, and do a review and get my feedback on it. And one thing I want to mention is that it evenly smokes. You can see that how even the wrapper smokes. This is why I like the cigar. It has great flavor, taste, it pairs well with whiskey rum. I'm a rum guy. I do have some whiskey rum also. I'm a rum guy. Let's see what my, my Habano. I'm always pairing a rock with the Kappa. <sighs> now, let's get into the So, smoking characters. Because it's smoking great, I'll give it a 5 out of 5. Burn 10. 8, I'll give it a 7. For flavors. Consistency, nine out of nine. Flavor qualities, nine. Smoothness, eight. Quality of blend, twelve. Flavor progression. I'll give that one seven out of
You know, I don't know if I said this before, but I'm, I'm about to take this around. Now, when it comes to rating, just because I'm friendly with the company or the owner, doesn't mean I won't give a hard review. Alright? So, there might be some cigars from the nose that I may not like, and I might give a hard review. I might get a, I might get a donut cigar that I normally don't like, but that night smokes well. But I'll give it a lot of you. So depending on how the cigar feels that day, will be depending on the grade I get to give it. And I made a comment earlier about um, about bag. Um, I have what they're actually defects. Now the only one I actually have a problem with was Perdomo Sofa. I'm not saying not to get these. These are great value, great prices. Right? There's only one in here, basically four, four in right now. It comes with four, four separate different each time. 10th anniversary, 10th anniversary, Sun Grown, and Habano. Look, 10th anniversary, 20th anniversary, Habano, and Lot 23. People like cigars daily will shoot a short video just to show you get it very quickly. But I like to show how it burns, how it feels, and it's probably as I'm going through it. But as a cook, details everything. Look at my chef always tell me I work. Details everything. So I like to slowly smoke it. This would have a good kick to it, man. I really eat this one well. Now, I have a human door. I'm, I do plan to get into boxes and for my birthday. So, I, what my suggestion to you take, if you get a few boxes, right? Take six of each box, from each box, put in a human door. Your wooden, your wooden human door. I have an electric cooler at home. I put my, my boxes in my electric cooler. Put the ones I'm going to smoke soon into the wooden cooler. Let it sit for about two or three weeks before I smoke it. Let it rest at age a little bit, then you can smoke it. That's how, that's how I do it. I've never d done this. One thing you should never do at a cigar bar is inhale the smoke and blow into someone's face. So do anything like this. It's really rude. Never do that at a, at a cigar at a cigar, not a cigar bar at someone's house. It's really rude. If you accidentally do it, it's fine, but don't deliberately do it. It's not recommended. I've never done it before, but. Food, food for thought. Well, I'm almost done with the cigar. I'm gonna get this in the high grade, to be honest with you. Because I can't find anything wrong with the cigar. The speed, the burn is great. Price. Now, let me go back to the price. Now, at Hulls.com, yeah, I can show you right here. One stick is ten twenty. It's ten twenty-five. For five sticks, it's four fifty. Four fifty. 
sorry, 4850 F, well, for one, the and for, oh, sorry, that's Epic, the extra show. For a single of Epic Pure, it's 975, 5 sticks, 4625, and for a box, it's $191.99. Plus shipping, but it says free shipping, so. Like it's already tax from that state, and ship right to you. But many day, many times you might find some good deals. I know right now at Neck and Cigars, they have a few good deals right now. So, for the price, I'll give it a four. Seven out of a hundred, so they aced it. In my opinion, I'm gonna finish the cigar. God bless. See you in the next video. This is probably gonna be next week.